I'll just put that there for a the minute. Oh my gosh, that's a bit of a workout. Now yeah, we better go and get ourselves some smoke in a bee suit and see what happens next. Oh. So as I said, we're, <laughs> we're kind of cheating a little bit because we've got an established colony here. So we're just going to give them a bit of smoke and we're going to move them out the way and put our new flow hive where they are. And of course they're already orientated to this spot. So I figure, well, that'll save us a little bit of excitement. And it's in a beautiful garden setting. And my dear wife's been planting flowers for them to live on, so I thought this is ideal. Well, this is what we're going to do, but if you're getting a package of bees, you'll do it slightly different. You'll just actually want to put your box there, get your package of bees, shake them in, let your queen in, and just put the lid on and just let them relax for a little while. They'll take, I don't know, anywhere from probably two months to get up to speed before you want to put the super on. But you'll know anyway, by the time you have a look in the brood box, you'll see the frames fill up and you'll know when they're full enough to actually put the super on. But don't put it on too soon because the lady's got to keep everything at the right temperature and that just makes it hard for them. I just make sure it's a bit level. Make sure you've got your recess bits for the frames to sit in at the top. Handles up the top, of course, that would be a fair indication if you put it together right. Yeah, let's just have a look what's, got, what's going on inside here. This isn't the strongest hive that we've got, but it's in the right spot, so. Poke a bit of smoke under there. Just so they can calm down for a second. Hello, ladies, what's going on? Oh, they're actually doing a bit. They've actually bred up a bit since the last time I was here. We'll just lift our queen excluder off. Oh, that's a bit of luck. <laughs> and as usual, you want to take the second frame along, because otherwise you don't want to be levering against the side of your actual box. So we'll just lever them up. And then while we're doing this, we'll have a bit of a look. See what the brood looks like, see how they're all getting on. See how the nectar flow is happening, if it is happening. See if we can see the queen. All of those things that you're supposed to do in a brood inspection. Since we're moving the brood. There's a couple of drones running around. We've got a little bit of nectar going on, which is good. That must be all the cool flowers my lovely wife's planted for them. Try not to crush it. Now just as a footnote, remember when you're moving an established hive like this, you want to put the frames all back in the same order and the same direction as they came out of the box that they were in. And we've got a few little stragglers left in here. We're just going to sit them up the top. Hopefully this will come apart. There we go. And I'm just going to sit that up. Just brush those ones off the front. Here for a minute, and we'll just sweep these little ladies down on where we want them. Their scent is all in this box that we're sweeping them out of, so we're not 100% sure what's going on at the minute. They seem to be going happily going down into their brood chamber, which is cool. So we're just going to take this box away in a minute. So then they'll get all reorientated to their new home. Here's a few little scragglers here. Yep, we'll pull that card out of the 
away. We'll just sweep them in. A lot of them will fly anyway. But you just want to make sure some of them will be little blooming um, brood bees that aren't really flying a lot just yet. So don't just shake them out into the open and hope they'll fly home. You want to sweep them into where they want a new, their new home. Of course, all the, all the gals that are flying all around everywhere else, they'll figure it out soon enough. But you just want to be a bit careful with the, with the brood bees, really. The ones that are young and haven't actually got organised to fly a whole lot just yet. So now we want to just pop the queen excluder on before we put our super on. So we might just clean that bit of poke, that bit of lemon muck off of there while we're here. We might as well tidy things up. That'll make the excluder sit better. Okay, get off the chicks. Now once this is sat here for a little while, they'll get some populous and stick it all together and it will all be fine anyway. So don't worry if it's a little bit slippery. We'll just pop this on and I reckon we're ready for the super. Now like I said don't rush that if you're if you've actually got a package of bees or a small swarm. You don't want to be rushing ahead like this but this way we can show it working pretty quick. <laughs> Make sure she's all nice and lined up. Of course you want your door at the back because that's where the harvesting is going to be happening. Looks good. And then I reckon we need a lid. Cool. So there's our groovy flow hive in the garden. How bloody awesome is that? And as you would, you know, when you're getting something new, you get on the internet and you check out all the feed and all the people and all the talking that's going on. And there's a few people that get excited that, um, you know, a flow is worth, I don't know, a little under a thousand dollars. But hell, if you went out and bought yourself a set of golf clubs, there'd be a few thousand bucks in that. And this way, you get something out of it. You get to have a jar of honey that you could take to your mate's house and say, shit, let's make some honey crackles with my honey. So I reckon it's a bloody good idea. So if you'd like to get a flow hive in your backyard, why don't you go to the bottom of this video, and there's a link there you could click on. And if you purchase it that way, it'll help us to help you see more of us in the beekeeping world. So I'd just like to say yet again, thanks to the team at Flow Hive, and I reckon it's a bloody ingenious piece of machinery myself. I think you lads have put a lot of effort into this, and I'm, I don't know, I haven't got any honey happening yet, but I'm pretty impressed. I reckon you should be proud of yourselves.